wouldn't believe it, would you? This morning was a bit of a wobbly start, and the time now is really getting on, actually. It's quarter past two. So what we did this morning was uh, shoot straight across to Tool Station and pick up um, a new light, just a small LED one for outside because we've got like a old style um, sodium lamp up there. But oh, okay, now they gobble up the juice, honestly, it's like 500 watts. So we bought this little Bambino 10 watt light to replace that this will pay for itself within a month you know with the amount of electricity it's going to save and then we were going to accumulate all of the uh, invoices and everything for Gemma to do the bookkeeping this afternoon and uh, I decided I wanted to just double check because we closed all the accounts for last year and everything uh, and I wanted to start this year afresh without the worry of uh, any wobbly data or anything like that in there. So I wanted to check it all off. So I spent the majority of this morning and a little bit this afternoon just reconciling the accounts and Jesus, talk about my least favorite job. But fortunately it went pretty smoothly. So far uh, we're good now um, with all the sales data and everything up to uh, the third. The t yeah, the 3rd of December, which is good. So Gemma's just in putting all the purchases and then we'll go back and we will correlate the two together. But that kind of thing ain't conducive to a good vlog. I'm sure I've said that before. So I'm gonna get up on the front and uh, we'll install this LED before it starts to get dark, which will only be an hour or so. And looking at it, it's a weird little setup. Look at that. So it's got like, uh, three crimp terminals, whatever you call them, screw terminals for your cable. So hopefully we can just put the twin and earth in there and uh, close it up. There's no cap though, but there is a little O-ring. So I'm wondering if there's a little black gland meant to go on the back of that. Anyway, we'll find out in a few minutes. Uh, and then Stuart also tells me that a light in the beer garden's gone. Perfect opportunity to swap it out for one of these, I think. So, uh, yeah, these were like 19 quid. I can get them cheaper on eBay, but you know, I needed one today, and here it is. I bet you it's not 10 watts though. Shall we check it before I put it up? It says 10 watts on the box. Yeah, 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 I know. Still a bit of a mess, but never mind. We can still do what we need to do really change my jacket but it will only take us a moment to find out exactly what rating this bad boy is. It says 10 watt on all the packaging. I kind of bet it ain't 10 watt. Let's get zoomed in. Be able to see what we're doing down here and I'll talk you through it. Right so first things first I need to find the uh, quick test. You may have seen these on other programs such as BigClive.com, one of my heroids. It's fantastic and then we've also got a meter which will tell us the power consumption. We'll plug that into the wall and it's reading 245 volts and zero amps zero watts this little lamp ain't gonna consume much so now we need a little bit of cable Doo -doo -doo. well this looks kind of perfect for the job so we've got a little bit of three core which really just needs stripping mm, nice rubber sheath as well not PVC the rubber stuff it's always better. Ah, come on. So let's just strip these out. Neutral earth is live. And that's what we've got this end as well. So let's have a look at these terminals. 
bit of a digression this I know but I like to see if we're getting what we're paying for and with these LEDs most of the time they're advertised and sold at a much higher rated value than actually what they consume and the telltale giveaway is a little notice on the back here that says made in China I don't know if they've got different multimeters over there <laughs> but it's always wrong so let's hope that we're proved wrong the lights that I installed in the brewery by the way if you scroll back on my videos channel right back into maybe even January or something like that you'll notice that they are actually what they pretend to be in terms of rating which isn't bad so there's the earth there's the neutral we'll just stuff this live connection in here make sure it's all the way in come on you pig cliff quick test if you want to buy one of these they do sell them on ebay right let's flood the camera with the light there we go there's the light and it says it's consuming well I never like the man with the orthopedic leg I stand corrected it is indeed consuming over 10 watts look at that 11 watts core blimey sailor that's not bad going that so we will pop this it's really quite bright as well We'll pop this outside to replace the one that's already there. I decided to punt out here for one of these coach lights I think they look a little bit nicer don't they there are still a few things to do on it though I need to put some trunking on the cable and some silicon on the top of the fitting to prevent any water ingress and then also there's one over here that we're gonna change out and then uh, well we'll just keep adding to it to make the whole back wall of the pub look rather nice but doesn't that look a lot better than uh, a scabby old spotlight? I think it does. Oh yes. So, I was anticipating delivery today of the steel from GC Supplies, then it occurred to me. Some of the stuff is bespoke, it's not bespoke, it's, uh, it's something that they don't often stock. So obviously Andy's had to order it in for me and I forgot all about that like a plonker. So until he's got it, he can't send it out, can he? Um, so that's why I know welding has happened on the channel today, but I'm sure it will be here by next week 
uh, I have every faith in them of doing that. Um, and it's probably just as well that it's not here at the moment because I have uh, issues, no not that kind, with the Dremel. Now you remember when Tom was here and we were grinding out his pot and it was intermittently cutting out every time we attacked it or put any load on the motor. I thought I'd fixed it, thought there was a loose wire, probably arcing. It worked alright for a day. The problem's back. Not sure what it is. I think it might be an issue with the PCB, something like that. The brushes have still got lots of life left on them, so I don't think it's that. I've had a look on the interwebs and also this seems like it's a common issue with the Dremel 3000, which is the model I have. So uh, a lot of people are saying change out the motor. Well, because I have a compressor, I've gone to tool station and for less than £20 I've picked up this Silverline air die grinder kit and it comes with, of course, lots of accessories. It's only a tiny little fellow, but uh, if this can pick up the pace as quick as a Dremel and if it has a quarter inch collet in there, which it freaking does, then that means, sorry, eight inch collet, then I can put my tungsten cunt slide burrs in here and uh, use them to grind away at the steel when we do a bit of fabricating because with the kit you get these quarter inch six millimeter I think they are uh, licorice all sorts you know bag full of them that one's obviously uh, a Chinese love ball to stimulate the lady parts this is also another um, this is an anal probe that comes with it so yeah they're not worth the steel they're made out of, frankly. Alright, if you want to like grind into a little bit of plastic or something like that, but on stainless, she no go. So what we're going to do is change out the collet on this bad boy and see if we can't. It also comes with spanners, look. I mean, for 20 quid, it's borderline disposable. I don't know how they can make a tool like this for less than £20. So let's take that out of there. That's the large collet. Insert the smaller collet. Go and get some Dremel bits. Okay, so I did put them away in the Dremel box. So yes, if I get one of these bad boys out, we're running low. It's gonna have to be a thloblong shape. Check that out, thloblong. So this is a tungsten carbide burr. Oh, and it fits in there lovely. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping beyond hope that we can get that bad boy in there. We can twack it doon, twack it doon lad. So it doesn't go into low earth orbit when we turn it on. Yeah, And uh, yeah, kind of, give me a moment. That screws to release the schmoo. I know that because I watched Dave. Yeah, give me a moment. I have to um, stick on the air hose fittings. Okay, Lee, do okay, Lee. So we've got her on. Looks the mutts nuts to me. And uh, we've set the rev up to uh, just shy of 100 PSI, quite frankly. And looks good to me. So we get about a 50 psi pressure drop when I uh, turn on the tool. Um, but she seems to be absolutely giving her. There we go, she's sitting pretty at 90. I don't think we're going to have any problem with this. That is as fast as the Dremel, if not faster. What we got? 25,000 Rippums. 
while the Dremel does 35, it says on the tin, but it's got no guts, has it? And there doesn't seem to be any wobble on that. <coughs> Feels good in the hand, baby. Right, so that's that problem solved. So let's just put this, right, I'm gonna put the airline away. There we go. So yeah, we'll put this lot in a container. I'll find somewhere for it to live. So we've got all the parts together and uh, pick up another job. Oh, what to do? Oh, sounds grimy. Anyway, it is what it is, 20 quid. Hmm, five o'clock. I'm kind of tempted to bugger off home, folks. What do you reckon? It's one of them days. The accounts. That's what's put me off today. It's the bloody accounts, honestly. Yeah, I'm going to flick the lights off and uh, clear off, I think, eh? Shall we start again tomorrow? Fresh, clean slate? I think so. I'll see you then. I really hate these days when the accounts knock the wind out of your sails. But there's always one thing that can cheer me up. Doodly 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 doodly. See you later, Abs. Bye. Once again.